We're working on a, on a thermal stable vaccine platform. With that, we are uh, trying to get a vaccine that can be taken to any corner of the world. And we are trying to have a vaccine that might actually work with just a single shot. So we're trying to be able to, to immunize a lot of people quickly. Our lab was pretty well suited to switch gears and join the global effort to try to develop a vaccine against the causative agent of COVID-19, which is SARS coronavirus 2, uh, mostly because working on emerging infectious diseases, specifically viruses and vaccines for those viruses is what this lab is set up for. So it was uh, not necessarily an easy switch because we had to pause sort of all of our projects but it was a switch that could be made and we felt it was right to uh, make that change and start working on something that is causing such global health issues. The toughest challenge with it is, that's why we are wearing face masks right now, is that it is highly infectious and it is a respiratory virus, so it spreads very quickly. A second problem that comes with that is that a lot of respiratory viruses you need to protect the lungs and the airways of the person and that is a little bit dif more difficult than to protect against the virus that just uh, kind of uh, is found in the bloodstream. Our team so far has done a really good job elucidating what would be a good adjuvant for a, a vaccine against coronavirus 2, SARS coronavirus 2. Uh, but so in the background we are also we have a protein engineering team that is developing a really interesting candidate for a vaccine. And so we're hoping that rapidly we'll be able to take what we've just learned about this adjuvant that's working fantastically and developing an immune response in mice. And we'll be able to combine that with our engineered protein that will become the immunogen in this vaccine. And so moving forward, we think that we'll rapidly be able to develop a superior vaccine potentially to some of the mRNA vaccines and things that we're really seeing heavily funded and really blazing through clinical trials right now.